This video is sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Hello, I'm Jello. And I'm Will. And we were asked by the lovely people at Magic the Gathering to make a video to promote their upcoming Strixhaven expansion. And what better way to promote Magic than by playing Magic? Now, Will and I are Magic experts. That's right, fellow magician. What was the last time you played the game, Will? Over a decade ago, once, and you know what? Uh, I mostly watched. Oh, well, uh, me too, exactly that. <laughs> uh, though I didn't watch, I lost. So, uh, we're pretty sure we remember the rules, I think. In fact, we're so good at magic that we don't even need to read the cards. We've got them all memorized up in the noggin. Yeah, so I asked a friend of ours to put together two decks for us. We don't know what the cards are gonna be or what they do. We're going into this totally blind. I have removed everything on the cards except for the images, so we're gonna play a game of magic using only the illustrations. Which is fine because we know all the rules. So uh, first, most important rule of magic, you need a good team name. The Strixhaven expansion is about a magic university with a bunch of different colleges, and each of them are based around two of the different colors found in the game. They each have different philosophies, they compete with each other in games like Mage Tower. So I think the only appropriate way to theme this game is as school sports teams. So my deck has red and blue cards. So I'm gonna say my team name is the East Wester Spicy Wets. The East Wester Spicy Wets. Oh, I won't remember that. That's fine. Well, seeing as I will be using the green and black deck and green is more heavily associated with nature and black is more associated with death and kind of the ooky side of things. I'm going with green and black beans. The green and black beans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so we need to draw the starting number of cards from our deck, which is six. So let's draw six cards. For those who don't know how to play magic, for those non-magicians watching, uh, people in the magic universe are uh, planeswalkers because they uh, walk along the plane, which is why the players are called pilots. And the first thing you do after drawing your cards uh, is from one of your six, you pick a co-pilot and they will be your co-pilot for the rest of the game. Unless they're shot down. Unless they're shot down. The Magic the Gathering is the convention you are flying your friends to. Your friends are your deck. Once you get to the convention, you win, but only one plane can reach the convention. So you always need someone flying the plane. That could be you, the co-pilot, or the autopilot. So you can only be hit three times, then you lose. Select your co-pilot. My co-pilot is gonna be Mean Tweet. <laughs> Uh, because who better to help you fly a plane than a bird? That makes sense. I have gone down a similar route, but for different reasons. I have chosen uh, Peepy. Uh, he peeps very well. <laughs> He's got an eye. I picked my co-pilot first, so I think that means it's your turn first, Will. Yeah, absolutely. The East Wester Spicy Wets versus the Green and Black Beans. Begin magic! I will play my next card. Forest fire. Uh-oh. Even though it is my home, I have decided to destroy it. Uh, smoke will rise up and make it difficult for you to fly. That's your turn then? Well, you know what? I will also activate the comment section. As you can see here, this is the influencer being attacked because they've done another sponsorship. Oof. <laughs> Man, you, you really got a deck that stacked against me here, I gotta say. <laughs> I, listen, I knew who I was going against, which was the East Side Spritzers. I don't remember who you are. The East Side Spritzers. Yep, that's <laughs> us. The the West Easter Spicy Wets. This is your, you, don't, you don't even remember who you are. I might have gotten that right. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Mean Tweet's passive ability uh, is equally as obnoxious as a comment section, so it, it muddles the comments long enough that, like, reasonable people aren't sure whether I'm at fault here or what, mm. so that, that gives me a turn to act, which is great, because I'm gonna fight fire with fire, because the best way to prevent forest fires is with a controlled burn, and that will negate both of our cards. Let's see. Can I do anything about this comment section? I might already be ready to take some damage. <laughs> All right. Luckily, I've just drawn the perfect card for this. It's oh. 
frazzled PR specialist. <laughs> the public relations manager is going to do her best to mitigate the damage. Uh, she is going to defend me, so I'll flip her into defense mode here. Defense mode! And I'll end my turn. Oh. Well, unfortunately for your PR person, you made an apology video. No! <laughs> <laughs> and the comment section is even worse than before. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> oh, do you, do you have anything else, or are you just going to steamroll me? <laughs> well, thanks to that sponsorship money that I made off of my video attacking your ridiculous apology. I bought myself Oh, you're one of those? Ew. Yeah. Yo, I'm a reaction channel. Gross. All right. Listen, Bean Brigade, we see opportunity. Right here, I bought my new mansion in the Necrolands with nice big lily pads. Oh, that's nice. It's like a lazy river, but don't touch it. Your hand turns to bone. Oh, no. That is my turn. That's that's pretty rough. <laughs> I don't... I... What will well, you do, magician? There's not very much that the PR specialist can do on her own. She's gonna need help from the skater girl. Oh. Skater girl has a hot take. <laughs> and, the, and the hot take Phoenix says that sponsorship videos, they're not that bad because they help a channel grow. And you know what? That's their job. It makes sense. But reaction videos, super lazy. Those are just terrible. You're way more predatory than uh, than a sponsorship. So I'm afraid I'm gonna try and turn around all of that negative press by rolling the dice. Gambit <laughs> activate. So I'll roll a D100. Let's see. Let's higher is better for me. That. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you didn't know? Hot Take Phoenix had a scandal recently. <laughs> no! Oh so, my god! I think they've all been canceled. <laughs> I'm gonna been canceled. I'm gonna go ahead and say I think I take a point of damage for that. Uh, yeah, my I, my reputation is in fucking shambles. <laughs> now, to be fair, because all of your videos were taken down, uh, my comment sections are gone. They're just gone. There's, there's okay. That's just how it be. But I still have my amazing mansion. Uh, Obviously, there's been a lot of debate about the Berenstein and Berenstein bears. It's both of them. But when they touch, it destroys them both, ending my turn. <laughs> a tricky maneuver. <laughs> Let's see what I've got here. Um, now, we've all got red blood cells, I would hope. And we all know what red blood cells look like, thanks to Magic School Bus. But this lady... She's a blue blood. Oh. The blue blood has a lot of money. Enough money to purchase your necro mansion. Stolen. No, I'm homeless again. Oh man, better go back to those reaction videos. Reacting to being evicted? <laughs> She's gonna go ahead and live in this mansion. That'll be my turn. All right, that's pretty unfortunate. Well, luckily I made a lot of dosh earlier. And so I was able to move in with my new goth GF. Oh. <laughs> and luckily, uh, she's a bit of a gardener, so I'm gonna get my forest back. Ooh. Luckily, this blue blood is not alone. She comes from a family lineage of blue bloods. So I play a second blue blood here, and with their influence, your goth GF <laughs> will not be able to stand up to their manservant, Stimpo the Stamper. <laughs> oh no! Stimpo the Stamper is gonna go ahead and uh, he's gonna just cancel you. No! Canceled! You started forest fires, man. That's bad. No, that's Unfor fair. Oh, God. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to roll again because I am covered in smoke. Uh, that also gets rid of Stimpo. Of so, course. Uh, so another 1D100. Let's see how well I can pilot. <laughs> oh, Mean Tweets knows what he's doing. <sighs> even through the smoke. Well, it's all right though. I do have Obelisk, the Endless Maw, which is just a big <sighs> dragon. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, unfortunately, he is actually the palace because I want it back. Yeah, that sounds real. <laughs> Uh, I it's hate that special effect where your dragon is just a palace. It's rough. Well, I've, I've got some bad news for me because those ladies are not leaving their house. 
<laughs> I'm afraid the blue bloods have switched sides to preserve their own wealth. So uh, it's just mean tweets up here now. <laughs> now there is a, there is a special problem with Obelisk. Uh huh. Obelisk is a hungry boy, so every turn he gotta eat something. Eat the rich. Oh shit! That gives you the eat the rich bonus. Exactly. Things are not looking good for mean tweets. The lone pilot of the sad jet. Oh, the poor Eastminster Spicy Wells. Eastminster Spicy Wells! <laughs> Whatever they were called. We interrupt this game of Magic the Gathering to remind you that this game of Magic the Gathering is sponsored by Magic the Gathering, just in case you forgot. So, so oh, no. first of all, I'm gonna play the Weather Bubble, along oh. with the Weathermancer. And the Weathermancer has a special ability here. Using his excellent magic dancing, he can convert blue weather into fiery blasts. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly right through that smoke and filter it into a jet engine, doubling my speed and allowing me to draw two cards per turn. Oh. And uh, I end my turn, that's all I can do. Well, obviously that deck is gone and Obelisk is hungry and I refuse to eat pee pee. So <laughs> I will eat the other <laughs> Eat the rich, again. I will summon a monster whose name is well-renowned in the community. This, it's just called this. Oh. It is the lizard that is trying to become a fruit and is almost there. What you don't realize is he looks really big there, but he's actually the size of a grape. And mean tweets cannot ignore a grape, <laughs> as all <laughs> owls of the spectral variety are known to do. I don't think mean tweets is an owl, but I do, what? I do understand. Also, owls don't eat grapes, but I understand your point. If a, if a grape does a little shimmy like a mouse, they do. Just, just... <laughs> owls, famous in science class for spitting up their pellets containing a single untouched grape. All right. So what happens here, Will, with mean tweets? Explain it to me. If you knew the rules at all, you'd know that this is now a grape size, but he wants to be other fruits. Next turn, he'll be the size of an apple. And then the turn oh, after no. that, yeah, he keeps getting bigger until he pops your spectral owl. Okay, mean tweets. You're on a clock now. We got, <laughs> we gotta get there. I do get to roll two times. So if I'm oh. lucky. I might get something good, okay? I would not classify that as something good. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take a gamble here. All right. Once again, using a second Weathermancer's conversion dance. Grapes can't grow without good weather. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot mean tweets containing the grape at your obelisk because obelisk is he never satisfied with food, he but this food eat. keeps getting bigger. So he will be satisfied as he comes to my team, attached to the mansion that is him. Uh, sure, that. Oh, that is very unfortunate and all accurate to the rules. That's, it's pretty bad, but I, I am sacrificing something here. I do lose mean tweets. So it's all up to oh. autopilot. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping I can make a comeback here. Uh, PP has been unaffected despite being PP. <laughs> PP and doesn't even know what's happened. <laughs> I'm afraid I have one more thing to play. I will play the tower. Look out, PP. You're <laughs> flying straight towards it. Oh yeah, it's true. PP does have a disadvantage <laughs> of having zero 20 vision. But what if I bring out 2020 vision. Oh no! <laughs> That's right. It can actually fly the plane, which it should have been doing from the beginning, but couldn't because I just realized it has no hands. But together, they can actually see this tower and go, uh, kind of, kind of around it. So they're just gonna go. Yeah. Go ahead and roll with advantage to get around that tower. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm, not looking good. Ah. <laughs> I, I think one of them is asleep at the wheel, but I think the second one does just well enough to dodge that tower. Yeah, which is the first PP. So what that means is I summoned the second one to be like, yeah, I got your back, PP. He sleeps at the wheel. The entire right half of the plane just vanishes with <laughs> new PP in it. <laughs> the tower is destroyed. <laughs> All right. Boy, things are looking really bad on my side <laughs> suddenly.
Well, my second weather mage has already cast the spell, so he's open to uh, give us a second rocket booster, giving me three cards per turn. Oh no! And so, have you ever heard those stories where it's like a pair of identical twins are separated at birth and then they like marry a pair of sisters or whatever? You ever, you ever heard that? That happens sometimes? Oh, uh, today, yeah. This is double trouble. She is the collective wives of the weather mages. So uh, we get the whole family on here, so they get a morale bonus. Oh, and no. that's that's my turn. Can can this army possibly be defeated by PP and PP alone? PP can't do anything, but the prankster who always takes it too far. <laughs> you see, the prankster who always takes it too far has always wondered. I hear you're not supposed to use a laser pointer on a plane, but I don't understand why. He's about to understand why as he points his little green laser at your plane, distracting your pilots. What pilots? <laughs> <laughs> You've fallen for my trap by killing my two pilots. They cannot be attacked. A machine cannot be distracted like some mewling kitten. That's all right, because if I can't distract the pilots, I'll ruin a happy family with mysterious mistress. Oh no. Oh, who? who is she with? Well, let's let's find out. Let's roll for Trist. How many of them is she with? Oh. <laughs> the mysterious mistress. <laughs> it, it, here's the thing about this card. If she successfully woos and ruins an entire family such as this, she gets to go after one more. Uh-oh. Obelisk. I think it would have torn this family apart had I rolled a one, two, or a three on how many of them were with the mysterious mistress, but I think this is just a happy polyamorous couple, and I don't think they want to hurt their mistress. Polycule! More like polycool. So I'm afraid... <laughs> I'm afraid all the bonuses have been bestowed to you. Uh, go ahead and give me some kind of roll to see if you take literally everything from <laughs> A happy family that big needs a home to live in. So, uh, it's not looking good for the old Jailmeister on this side of the field. <laughs> Luckily, it's my turn. Let's see the one card I have rolled. Can it save me? Uh, unfortunately, I don't. She was a skater girl, and seeing this, she said, "See you later, girl." <laughs> Ditched. I uh, I am an empty plane with an autopilot and no cards. So. What what will you do, fellow magician? Well, fellow magician, it has been a respectable duel, and I appreciate that at no point in time did you harm PP. Even I... though you easily could have, and I <laughs> totally killed the hell out of your bird. I have not elected to take your final heart point, but instead, I will give you a home. Why we gotta fight, bro? By the official tournament rules of Magic the Gathering, Will has offered me an honorable draw as I land my plane into the Magical Gathering with so many of my own teammates who have betrayed me. <laughs> All right, well, that was an excellent game. I believe Will is the winner. Winner! Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> For, for this excellent magician's duel, fellow magician. Yes, a, a respectable duel and proof that we should all just come together. Thank you for watching, and a big thank you to Magic the Gathering for sponsoring this video. Be sure to pick up Strixhaven when the expansion releases on April 21st. And remember that you can always help out the channel by supporting us on Patreon. Become a backer today to get access to hundreds of posts featuring outtakes, cut content, and entire exclusive videos not available anywhere else. Thanks.